going on everybody welcome back to the channel it's your boy auto guy diy coming at you on another super hot sunday so check me out man we're still having cooling issues with my fourth generation ram you see the hood out there popped up on it so i did my engine cooling flush now what i'm seeing is that brown stuff's coming back in the water so that's an issue maybe i need to pull the radiator out that's probably it might be plugged up that's what i'm kind of getting at is that it might be plugged up so what i want to do today is i want to go over what the engine cooling temperature sensor does you know what the purpose of it's for i want to check the fan clutch on the mechanical fan and then i also want to go through the process of bleeding your cooling system seeing as i didn't do that after i did the cooling uh the coolant flush i didn't show you all that process so let's jump out here to this truck we'll jump right into it and that'll be that so here we go we're out here at the truck first things first i wanted to show y'all look you see that brown stuff coming back i'll show you the radiator cap here i'll link up above me my engine cooling uh system flush you'll see that i cleaned that cap off got all that off of there and now it's coming back so to jump right into this, the first things first, we're gonna check the clutch on the fan. Let me see if I can get you down in here. So the first thing you wanna check with the engine cool is you wanna spin it. You see how it's got a little bit of resistance? It's not just free spinning. Sorry about that. So that's the first sign that your clutch is good, but it's not the only check you can do. So this, this will kinda go in correspondence with your engine cooling temperature sensor and what it does so it plays a few roles one role is is it gives you um it gives your clutch um, excuse me it gives your clutch the the sensor or the it gives it sends it the signal to pick up the pace to run as fast as your engine as the engine gets warmer or up to running temperature so and it also it gives you your reading on your gauge in your truck and it's also supposed to control your electronic fan to help turn it on. That's what your engine control or your engine temperature sensor does. So to do the second test, it kind of goes in with the bleeding, the cooling system. That's why we're doing it all in one video. So we're gonna jump over here in the truck, start this thing up, jump in here. <laughs> we're at 151,000 miles. I mean, on the button. So let's start this thing up. There it goes. So to go into the bleeding the cooling system, you're gonna turn your heat on full blast or at least all the way up and then on the low setting. You're probably gonna wanna roll your windows down. For me, it's, a, it's been 103 degrees for the last week every day. So that's that. Now we're gonna let it run. Once that thermostat, or that thermostat opens up and it cycles, it'll suck the water down in the radiator and we can add and that'll get all the air out of the system now at the same time as it does that it'll let you know that if it starts circulating that you have water circulating through your radiator and your water pump is working because it's circulating the water so it's, it'll tell you a few different things while you're there so we're gonna let this thing warm up we're probably getting pretty close it's hot as heck out here right now we're at 177 degrees 79 degrees and then when it gets up, I got a 203 degree thermostat. When it gets up to temperature, we'll click it back on, see what we got, and we'll look at that fan also. Before this fan gets up to complete speed, I know it looks like it's spinning as fast as the engine. It actually looks kind of wild on the camera. But as that engine gets hot and gets to 203 degrees, it should spin as fast as the engine's turning, whether you're on the gas or not. So I felt like I needed to throw that in. All right, we're at 199. I'm watching the water disappear under the hood from the radiator, so let's step out here, see what we got. <laughs> so here we go. As you can see, the water is gone. So I'm gonna set this camera down and add and see what we got. Now I got y'all set down. Let's add this water, see how much it takes. Not much, we're gonna let it cycle. We're gonna let it do its thing. We gotta make sure to get all the air pockets out. This is how you do that. At the point of it cycling, and it has a spot to escape, which is your highest point, 
that's where your air will escape from. So let's get back in here. To top that off, let's get back in here and look at our temperature. Plus, look at this fan. That's another thing I almost forgot. Look at how, look at how it's spinning now. It's, it's moving. It's moving the same speed you can see. I don't know if you can tell by the nut and the pulley. Let me get on the other side and see. Put, drop you all down in here. Can't really tell that fan looks crazy. But to me right here, I can see that it's spinning as fast as that pulley's spinning now. It's not lagging any. So look, you can still see the air pockets coming out of there. That's why you top it off and you let it sit. So like I said, let's go over here to the truck and see what this temperature's at. And make sure that thermostat's opened up all the way and doing its thing. So since it sucked, I'm at 201 degrees, let's, let's state that first. So since it sucked the water down when that thermostat opened, that tells me that my water pump is working. You know what I mean? It, it's circulating the water when the thermostat opened, the water circulated and see every time it goes up to 203 and then back down to 201 it's bubbling out there under the hood i don't know if y'all can pick that up from here so we're gonna let it cycle a few times we're gonna let it run probably 10 minutes 15 minutes it needs to cycle a few times get all that air out of that system top it off kill it we're gonna let it cool down see it's opened up all the way now it's at 199 and the water's gone back from under the hood. So let's walk back out here and we'll do this again. And this is how you get all the air out of your system. This is the proper way to bleed your cooling system and also check your clutch on your fan. Look, so the water went back down. I just showed y'all it was topped off. So man, it's doing its job. We are, we're at 199 again. This time I'm gonna walk out there and show you the filler neck on the radiator. As the temperature goes up, we'll see if any more air pockets come out. We're at 201 now. So let's walk out here. We'll take a look, look. That thermostat's gonna open again here in just a minute. It's already popping more air pockets. That's why it's very key to let your engine cycle a few times before you just top it off, cap it off, and be done with it. So with all of that, this is my tips on bleeding a cooling system some of the parts of what your engine control or engine temperature sensor does and how to check your clutch fan on your mechanical fan for your fourth generation 2009 to 2018 ram 1500s so man keep living the dream doing your thing like and subscribe i'm gonna finish sweating to finish this thing up and i'm rolling out